This video does not call for violence. The video shows the feeding of our main character. Hello, today we will have an unusual Issa, because today we will learn about the new hero of our channel, about the water beetle. And there was a purpose for me to buy this small fish. Soon you will find out everything. In the meantime, I'm launching this fish in a separate small aquarium. In general, for our experiment, it doesn't matter what the fish will be. But at the moment it is a Sumatran Barbus. If we delve into idea, I have in mind in more detail, then we need to recreate the most similar to natural conditions for the comfortable living of a water beetle in an aquarium. And I would like to immediately notice that if a water beetle suddenly attacks a fish, then this also happens in natural conditions. After all, there is a food chain in nature. Likewise, this fish attacks small mosquito larvae. And I doubt that these fish think about the fact that they eat the same living creatures like themselves. And if water beetle eats them, then he also will not think about the fact that these fish are living creatures as well. So, here is the main character of this Issa. This is a water beetle. And right away I want to say that you should not underestimate this small, inconspicuous at first glance beetle. In general, by their nature, water beetles are predators. They attack aquatic insects, tadpoles, newts and fry. To begin with, I decided to move these two aquarium together and observe the behavior of the beetle and the fish. Then I decided to catch one small fish and transfer it to the aquarium which contains the water beetle. As I said at the beginning of the video, we need to recreate the most comfortable and the most similar conditions for a swimmer to live in this aquarium, so that they are similar to natural ones. Indeed, in nature, in the reservoirs in which the beetle live, there are also algae, fish and even frogs. And with such a variety of things to hunt for, the water beetle did not pay attention to either the frog or the small fish. Well, as soon as he noticed the Phobos larvae, he immediately attacked it. And by the way, the larvae of this water beetle are much more terrible than the beetle itself. Indeed, in the larvae, the mandibles are pierced with thin tubules through which digestive juice flows into the victim's body. And then digested food flows back. Just think, when the lava bites the victim, the victim digests itself. And for some reason it seems to me that such facts are even used in some fantastic films. But I just can't remember which ones. If you remember, be sure to write the name of the movie in the comments. In general, more than 4,000 species of these beetles are found in the world fauna. And while the beetle was eating the lava, below the tots was catching small mosquito lava. At the same time, she was not even bothered by the fact that there was a real predator above her. Because the diving beetles are the second most species of the family in order of carnivorous beetles. For breathing underwater, diving beetles take a supply of air under the elytra, and the larvae take air into the trachea through a tube at the end of the body. Despite living in water and moving from the reservoir to another with help of their wings, many other species of water beetles, while flying over the shiny surface of the water dive, into it due to reflex. Well, here is what happened to the Zephobos larva an hour later, after it was attacked by a water beetle. If you are interested, then be sure to like this video. And if you want another video about a water beetle, then write I want in the comments. And that's all for now. Bye, everyone.